Hey guys, this is Mines. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I am gonna do a repot of this um, Epicatlea that I have. It's a hybrid orchid. And it finished blooming. So, I am gonna change its pot and media. So first, I'm gonna clean my pruners. Sterilize them first for cutting dead roots, if there are some. So, let's see the condition of the roots in here. I'm going to remove the stake and the clip before I try to take it out of its plastic pot. Which I think won't be that hard because um, I've already soaked this, so it won't be hard for me to take out the moss. And I'm pretty sure the roots are, uh, it's root bound. And yes, it is. The roots are all over. Already. So, I'm gonna have to be careful not to um, break, not to cause any damage to the roots. They are so stiff. The roots are so stiff. This is hard because <laughs> I'm wearing gloves plus um, I'm scared because I don't want to break any roots. Yeah, this will probably take me a while before I take out all the moss. So, I'll get right back to you when it's done. I had to remove my gloves just so I could uh, feel the moss and the, and the roots because um, it's kind of hard when you're wearing a glove. Especially the gloves that I have were uh, not the perfect fit. So here it is. Took out, um, most of it i still have a little bit of moss left in there so i am using this uh, tweezer So the root system is quite good 
I can see no root rot. It is really healthy. So I'm going to wash this in the sink and look closely to if I can find any blackened roots or mushy ones in there that I should cut. And then we're good to go. So this has been washed and I'm going to cut some dead roots at the end that I can find. That way they won't spread. And I wait for it. Since this orchid has uh, a lot of roots, maybe a bit bigger is okay to use. But this one is, is too wide, too big I think. This one will settle in since it has that thing in the middle. So I could sit the, the roots in there. So I'm gonna try this one and my first choice is to use uh, the pumice the potting mix that Erika Clayers loves. The one that has pumice, uh, cocoa husk chip and bark. If I don't like it, I can change it anyways. If I'm just going to use like a, or a, any moss. It was in moss, so maybe I should pot it in moss as well. But I want to try this potting mix. So for the final touch, I'm going to top it with moss. 
as you can see it's very unstable it's wobbly so adding moss in there will make it less wobbly i think plus adding moss at the top uh, increases humidity we'll see maybe i will change change it after a day or two but for now i will go with this there you have it folks repotting done thank you for watching